Hello there guys and welcome to episode 10 of my devlog series. I know 10 videos has been an incredible journey so far and we've only just begun. I'd just like to take a quick minute just to say that if you're not already subscribed to my channel I'd really really appreciate it if you drop down below and hit that subscribe button, it really means a lot to me. With that out of the way, what are we doing today? So we're talking about weather and making it stop raining on the inside. Stick around for more. Alright, so first things first, let's make some clouds. Uh, now, uh, I know my way around Ace Bright a little bit, uh, so it wasn't too hard to just go in, brush some nice fluffy shapes. Uh, and then we're going to use the jumble tool uh, just to go around and kind of distort these a little bit. I've kept the opacity at 100 because I don't want any blending. Uh, and I've gone in with the spray can after this and just tidied them up, made them look cloud-like. And what's great for you guys is that they're going to be free on my itch page for you to use in your game too. Alright, so now it's time to import these assets, the clouds, into our project in Unity. Uh, so I do have a particle effect already set up for the clouds because I was using some that I did find on the internet, but uh, I didn't like them, there were the clouds. So we're just going to swap out the sprites for those and use the ones we just made. <laughs> it looks a little bit weird here, but we'll get it all sorted out in a minute. Really, really easy to use um, and also we can make all, all kinds of shapes. This uh, this part of the video, by the way, is uh, me just showing you all the settings that I kind of use to play around with this. Uh, so feel free, pause, go back and have a look at the settings that I used. Um, but I do encourage you all uh, just to play with particle effects. Like the own, like I watched a lot of videos online about particle effects and the different ways you can use them. And yes, they were good as a guide. But the best way to learn is just to go out and play with the effects yourself. Just try different things, see what works and see what doesn't. And that's how you get better. All right, let's move on. All right, and here they are in the game. So I personally, other than the fact that they pop in and out of existence sometimes, which I need to fix, I think they look pretty good uh, in certain circumstances, like when they're floating across the building and how they kind of interact with the player. They, they definitely need some tweaking. This is not going to be the final result. But for now, I think it does the job and I think it looks okay. Um, now we need to add them to the eye savable. Okay, so I'm actually recording this video um, after I'd written the script, but I'm just going to show go through and highlight all of the eye savable related code. So I've, obviously I've got an iSavable um, interface in my game and that requires certain methods. Uh, some aren't um, relevant because they're, they're scene dependent, uh, whereas the, the uh, weather manager is going to be on a persistent scene. A lot of this code is actually repeat code for the most part. The interface is just kind of adding variables. So here we have our um, iSavable save that just logs information but we've done this for a bunch of other uh, scripts one thing i do want to point out though that is if we don't clear the weather uh, then we end up with this really funny effect that every time we save the game and then we load the game it duplicates the uh, the weather prefab uh, and if we keep loading the game then it will keep making more prefabs uh, so we end up with lots of duplicates. So obviously, we're not going to keep that in a serious game. But if you're making something stupid and you wanna you wanna have this kind of effect, uh, then just just keep duplicating it. Why not? Um, but yeah, so we'll clear the weather uh, and then do all of the rest of this good stuff. There's going to be more stuff that's added to this. Uh, it's not loading something correctly. I can't remember off the top of my head, but. This isn't going to be the final, uh, final script, but yeah, <laughs> this is a process. I've been been over this with you guys before. Uh, we're on video ten. I would imagine there's going to be like a hundred of these. All right. So now that we're saving the weather, uh, which is what we want. So when we when we load and say uh, save and then load the the weather up, it loads the same. The last problem 
is that it's still raining on the inside um so we want to do something about this uh, you might want to keep this for like a stylized version me personally i'm not too keen on it um so i'm gonna be removing this uh, and the way that i've done it and i'll show you in a second right about now <laughs> we've got uh we've got our enums um and in here is going to be our scene names and we're going to take that list of scene names and put it into a scriptable object class uh which is here uh, and then so this is going to have a list and then we're going to populate the list with all the scenes that will will allow the weather so we're going to check in the weather manager if uh the the scene is on the allowed weather list then play the weather and if it's not we're going to disable the weather not destroy we're going to disable the weather while we're in that scene and then if we leave and go to a scene uh where the weather is allowed um, then uh, we're gonna re-enable the current weather effect rather than <laughs> so I tried this uh, once or twice uh, and I was destroying the weather and then re-instantiating weather and it would give me a random um, weather prefab based on my season up uh, my season list season weather list um, which wasn't what I wanted so you'd go in to like the building and it'd be raining and then you'd leave and it'd be sunny and you're like it's not what I wanted. I want the, the weather rain it is to last for the day. So uh, I only want the weather to change when the day advances. So this took some tweaking. Took me a little little bit of time just to go through this and change it. But I finally got it how it works. So here's the clear current weather uh, function, which we're going to use. Uh, and we have this restore weather function just to restore the weather so it's gonna operate slightly different to the the function that we use in the advanced day to make that happen but it all works which is great and uh, again I know I've already said it but make sure you pause the video if like any of this code is helpful to you pause the video you can go back uh, and just take a take a proper look at how I do things by no means an expert but I'm, I'm pretty proficient now again getting things done takes a little bit of time but it's still a learning process and i think it always will be but yeah all right time to move on okay so now I'm back in the game it's not raining on the inside anymore which is exactly what we wanted so as you can see here the prefab uh while we're in a scene that's on that allowed weather list um i'll just show you here um so if we look at scenes our scene one farm is on the list Ta -da! and then when we go inside because it's, the cabin is not part of the allowed weather scene list it doesn't play the weather and it disables the weather effect which is perfect that's exactly what we wanted and um, so I said earlier about doing things slightly different for the disabling weather this is the code that pertains to the re-enable and disable weather effect and then manage weather here whereas uh, for the advanced day and the i savable we we're using this uh, this code to lock in uh, the weather for the day uh, and then on the advanced day we generate weather which is going to be slightly different to managing the weather uh, that's going to generate a new weather effect um, for each day based on our based on our list and it will give us a chance to generate those different weathers and what's really handy is you can choose the number uh the percentage chance of how uh how likely that is Alrighty, so back in the scene as you can see it's day one now day two day three uh waiting for some uh some rain so we can see it clearly as you can see it's raining on the outside on our uh on our farm scene and just to check because the field is part of the allowed weather weather list so it rains on both which is great exactly what we wanted uh, and then if we head over to the cabin it's not raining on the inside which is perfect so it's all set up correctly uh, bear in mind that this uh, this system uh, is probably a culmination of a week's work like it took me a long time to figure this out um, but I love the challenge that comes with game development, like learning new things. Uh, it's really pushing me forward uh, to develop my skills, uh, and I really want to release this game. But that, that about wraps it up. So all that's left to say is like the video, leave a comment, 
um, and if you really want to and you've liked the video please subscribe it means a lot to me but yeah thank you so much for watching guys it's been a pleasure and i'll see you next week